the thing that's really changing with new technology is uh, the, the scarce resources. Yeah. You don't have that. The scarcity is kind of gone because there's an abundance of all the information and there's an abundance of everything except for the people who want to have uh, the scarcity where they can control um, the access and control the copies. And that is not only about movies or, or media, it's also about you know access to classified in documents, like in Wikileaks case. Yeah. It's exactly the same. Everyone can have access to that, which means that there is a power shift to in, in the political structure, uh, as well as in the media structure and all of these different things. So if that was the possibility in the real world, uh, that would be great. Yeah. But as long as we can't copy everything physically, uh, that won't work. Maybe in the future that will work, though. With the 3D printers and, and the, like the printing of uh, food and so on, it might work. And yeah. then, uh, but then we'll be a totally radicalized society. But it will, it will change a lot of things. It will decentralize production, which is good. And it will also, if food printing really becomes a thing, um, then we will change the lives of so many people that we will have totally new power structures that we don't, we can't even you know, comprehend yeah. what they will be in the future. Yeah. Um, so with Pirate Bay, it was always about access to information. And that was the interesting part for me. It, people don't understand how big the industry of information is. Uh, I don't think people have this clue because we're always talking about like oil being one of the biggest industries, yeah. but oil is not even, you know, if, if you look at the top 10 richest companies in the world, there will be informational companies. Will be Microsoft, Google, Apple, all of these companies are bigger. Really? They're bigger. Oh. You know? So uh, I, I think that like informational will be kind of the new oil in the end. Yeah. And, and copyrights is, is limiting people in, in access to information. So it goes against the ideal of the human race, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because the funny thing is that media around the world are now buzzing about the new sharing yeah. economy, which is, according to some reports, worth $26 billion. Yeah. Uh, but yet the file sharing, or like the Pirate Bay, is illegal. What's then the difference between the sharing economy, like Airbnb, for example, and the Pirate Bay? For me, it's kind of a capitalist problem. Uh, it's because you're... It's the same thing as entrepreneurship. You know, yeah. everyone's talking about entrepreneurship saving the world. It's creating new jobs and all of this. So the sharing economy for me is not very, uh, it's not very shared. It's more giving people to new entrepreneurs who's building new capitalist structures. Yeah. So I'm not, even though we might benefit from it, we're also becoming entrepreneurs and we're also becoming companies ourselves, which reduces our private lives and it yeah. reduces all of those things as well. So there is an implication of our personal life with that. Isn't that also like the sharing economy, some kind of decentralization? Right now it might be decentralized, but the problem is that we're centralizing so much. Uh, we never centralized so much when it comes to anything before yeah. as we're doing on the internet. We need decentralization, uh, uh, but there's nothing really happening with, about decentralization. We were talking about it, but it's there's no real movement towards it. It's moving towards the other way. But everything we use on top of the internet is super centralized. So we really need decentralization of everything. Um, Do you think we as young people have a role to play being an internet generation? Or I think we should stop being as naive as we are. We have like this this bubble that yeah. we live inside and uh, sometimes we look outside of it but it's not connected directly to us. We know there's a war in Syria but we don't really do anything about it. We know yeah. this is going on here and in North Korea there's a dictatorship and people are starving. We don't really do anything about it. We click maybe the like button if something happens yeah. there. So I think we should be more active, more na less naive and uh, you know, put some more demands on society to change. And sometimes it's good good enough to just send a signal, but sometimes you actually have to do a little bit more.